history in the making during our generation. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. People say dreams aren't realistic. Who's heard that before? Some people say, dream, you can't do it. You can't do it. Everyone's heard it. I know everyone's heard it. Dreams are not realistic. I want you guys to really, I'm speaking through this because I'm living off time, but think about this. I want you guys to scream out where you're with this really quick. What are you guys sitting on? What do you guys have on? What do you guys have in your pocket? You know what that was? Scream it. You know what that was? That was all someone's dream. All of it. The chair you're sitting in, the clothes you're wearing, the lights that are in the ceiling, the building. That's how realistic dreams are, guys. But it comes down to believing in your dreams. Coming down to knowing what you want out of life and understanding that it's a realistic thing. This, me, what I'm doing, this is a dream of mine. And I get to do it every day. And it's awesome. So you have to understand dreams are realistic. When someone tells, when you're not, I'm going to say this quick. If people aren't laughing at your dreams, you aren't dreaming big enough. A dream is supposed to be something that you're supposed to scare small-minded people when you tell someone your dream. Think about that. Do I, if you don't believe it, why would, if you can't say your dream, why would anyone believe in it? So believe in what you're doing in your life. Believe in your dream. Believe in your aspirations. And understand there's a way to do it. Listen, 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 listen. There was this goat. There was this goat. A whole, a whole bunch of goats in this field. There was one big tree. And all those goats were always trying to get to the top of the tree to get to the harvest. Always. And every day, all those people talk, no, you're not. All these people, you're going to fail, you're going to fail. And all these people always fail. And they heard them, they go, oh my God, they can't do it, I can't do it. My dream is to get that harvest, I can't do it. Because they didn't do it. But now there's this one goat that always looks from the outside. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. Two weeks, he tries, he tries. And he's hearing everyone waving their head like this. No, no, you can't do it, you can't do it. They're making loud noise standing up. And one day, he gets to the top of the harvest. And he grabs all that food. And he puts it down and shares with everyone. Does anyone know why he was able to get to the top of the harvest? Maybe he could. No, actually. He did it because he was deaf. He wasn't able to hear anyone say, No, you can't do it. I didn't do it, so you can't do it. You can never allow other people to dictate your success because other people are going to bring you down naturally. Because they couldn't do it, you cannot do it. You have to ignore the outside perspective and believe in what you are capable of doing. Who agrees with that? Even on a sports team, feel a lot of people have. Even if you haven't, even if you have not, that's okay. So when you're on a sports team for preseason, you usually get like a schedule from like 8 a.m. You have to 8 a.m. to 8:30. You have this plan from 8:30 to 8:45. You have this plan. He goes, imagine if you set that up for your everyday life for six months. Imagine if just today you made a plan from 8.30 from getting to school till 5 o'clock to getting home. You had every minute plan. People complain there's not enough time in the day. There's 24 hours in the day. But what makes people not have enough time is the 10, 15 minutes you're doing something that isn't adding any value to your life. Picking up your phone, doing talking to friends. Like, talk to friends, but balance it. Because those 10, 15 minutes, those 5, 10 minutes over the day, doing that every hour, is going to accumulate to hours wasted. That's two, three hours a day. If you go on your phone, you can see how many hours you spend on your phone. And I promise you, it will scare you.